have a grocery haul again. It is the 15th of July and I'm just gonna uh, that all of this came from the Albert Heijn. I might still have to go to the little because we do not, do not like the brown rice from the Albert Heijn. So uh, <laughs> that is um, not great because then we have to go to two supermarkets. But I'm gonna jump right in it because these are all the fresh things and I want to put them in the fridge because, well, you can't really see it right now, but just now the sun is shining, it's quite warm. Just want to get them in a cooler environment. So first we have some uh, lettuce here. In Dutch we call it like ice mountain iceberg lettuce. Um, it's like the super watery crunchy one, uh, which is uh, 82 cents for quite a big, I don't know like how many grams, it, it doesn't satisfy, but it's like quite a big crop. Then we have grapes here, two packages, uh, it was, let me see what was the, the whole situation. Oh yeah, I think it was one plus one for free. So originally they're two euro 19 a piece, it's for 500 grams. I specifically chose the nice round, semi-smaller ones. Um, and we got two for the price of one, basically. Then we have two courgettes or zucchinis. And those are 72 cents a piece. Some tomatoes. These are like, it's a bit weird. They kind of have multiple categories. There's so many different tomatoes for some reason. Um, and these are the ones that are still attached to the, the stem, essentially the branch. Uh, but I always take it out because I don't know, uh, that's one cent that otherwise I would be paying for. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> um, because you have to wait yourself. And these were 86 cents for the two of them. Then we have a bunch of smoked tofu. I love smoked tofu it honestly is quite expensive for how much you get uh, but we got a bit of a discount so in Albert Heijn you have like general discount and you have like personalized discount and this was the personalized personalized discount um, this is like 200 grams which is like clearly a lot less than the usual packaging because that's here um, and these were let me see originally two euro nine a piece and we got, how much was it? I think 15% off? They were like 1 euro 59 in the end? Something like that. Um, so I got six. These are like okay for one and a half months essentially. And we either we use one or we use two for the two of us, depending on how much we want. So yeah, we go for them quite quickly. Then we have the tofu again, if you remember my whole explanation about the organic versus the regular, you'll see that I have the regular right now. Um, and this one is, so these are two euro 20 a piece and I got two. So like I said, 550 grams. And then we have two big tops of hummus per usual. And these are three euro 39 a piece for 350 grams. Oh, almost got my receipt on the ground. Then we have a little basket of apricots. I am not sure if they're gonna be yummy. We are a bit spoiled because the apricots, honestly, most produce in Lithuania is really yummy. So we ate so many apricots last year when we visited in the summer, uh, but I wanted to try. They were on discount and I'm just curious to be quite honest. And otherwise in a bit over a month, we'll just devour all the apricots <laughs> in Lithuania. Um, and these are, were 2 euro 90 originally and there was uh, 70 cents off. Then we have these carrots, which is just this like bunch of carrots, uh, the really yummy one, the sweet ones. And these are, ah, here we go, 1 euro 74 for this whole bunch. Like honestly, I think that's such a good deal. <laughs> But probably originally they, oh my gosh, there's a parrot here. Well, it's not a parrot, it's a parakeet, but can you see it? There. <laughs> we have parakeets in the city and specifically this tree. They really like, if you can see it, it's right here in between. 
between the branches and they make the best sounds. <laughs> so yeah, let's get back to the food. Then we have tempeh, which is one euro 49 for 250 grams. Then we have some radishes. Um, actually, like the radishes, the carrots, the cucumber and avocado is for making a sushi bowl. Probably some of the tofu as well. Maybe even smoked. Ooh. Um, so that's one of the dishes we're gonna be making this week. And these radishes, oh, also radishes are amazing with hummus. I learned it from someone and my life hasn't been the same ever since. Um, radishes are 99 cents for this bunch. It's, yeah. I mean, most of it, let's be real here, is actually the green. <laughs> Um, maybe that would be nice for a little salad actually. I wonder how it will taste. I'm not sure if I've ever had that. Then we have the cucumbers, which are 72 cents a piece. Then we have avocados. These aren't the wheat. So in our time you have kind of two different ones. You have the ready to eat ones and the regular ones. And these were on discount supposedly. Oh no, 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 no. The other ones were on discount, but these were bigger. I was like, you know what, for the 10 cents, I prefer to have a bigger and they seemed to be the same, like ripeness, let's say. So, got two of those and they were 1 euro 29 a piece. Then we have some herbs. Um, the coriander and the parsley are uh, for making falafel, falafel pitas. And the dill is for making something, a, a Lithuanian dish called pink soup, which is basically like beet soup with cucumber and dill. And you make potatoes, like you, you like boil them or steam them and you like add that later. So like the soup itself is kind of like cold or lukewarm, depending on the state of the ingredients. And then uh, you like boil potatoes and you eat it with it so it's kind of like a great mix of warm and cold but it's still kind of like a cold soup um, and my mom is coming upcoming Wednesday and she's never had it uh, so we're really excited to let her try it I think she'll really like it but yeah so I got that for upcoming Wednesday um, and all of these I, I was considering so in Albert Hein you have like those herbal like plants basically or you have like these packages of the herbs and I never used to use these however we will be moving in like within two months essentially and we are already trying to like size down on everything we have so it didn't really make sense to get like herbal plants and ideally we would just get like nice like maybe even just seeds and like grow them ourselves in a new place so for now I got this. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of par parsley and coriander and to grow them yourself, I'm kind of like, eh. And dill is like, you, that's a full on plant. Uh, my uh, partner's mom actually grows it in her garden. So we will have fresh dill when we're there. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the prices. Um, so the coriander was one euro nine, the dill was one euro nine, and then the parsley was also one euro nine. And these are 15 grams, 15 grams, and 30 grams. So, yeah. Then we have some bok choy. One of our faves right now. It is great with some sesame oil, maybe even some soy sauce. It's, we found out, like, actually it's better to get the bok choy at uh, our time. You get more for maybe even cheaper or the same price as the little. So yeah, like that's definitely like I did not expect that, but it's actually a bigger deal, a better deal. Um, yeah, we've been steaming it, love steaming it, but make sure that you do it for long enough so it's actually soft. Yeah. And maybe good to then also cut it up a bit because the the fibers they can be quite hard to chew through if you have big pieces. So yeah. And the bok choy is one euro twenty nine. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and then I'll get to all of this. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back with the rest. I <laughs> realized that I also had some yogurt because this yogurt, the soy yogurt from Albert Heijn, one liter I believe, or at least one kilogram, 
Um, it's also for the, the, the pink soup. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So. And now we have all the dried things. So let's start here. We have our oats again. I'm not even sure if we still need... Oh, we do. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good that I got some. We store it in, in these glass jars um, because these are not ideal to like, store it in. And we still have some, but it will be good. Uh, we do this for the sunlight, by the way, because the sun can be quite strong here. Okay, so let's see. The oats. The oats are 79 cents a piece. Then we have my favorite bread, which is the sourdough, buckwheat, spelled, name it all. Everything is in there. Nice sesame and um, what are they called in English? And those are called mantad, which is like moon seed, but I know that's not what they're called. They're like the blue poppy seeds, the poppy seeds, yes. So poppy seeds. And that's 3 euro 19. I think they increased the price. I think before it wasn't free. No. Anyway, um, too addicted to this to stop buying it, even if it increases price. <laughs> then we have a bunch of beans. Um, unfortunately, the Albert Heijn that we usually go to doesn't have all the types of beans. Um, they don't have, well, Kent, Black Eyed Peas. They only have small versions of this, Borlotti and the Canelli. Canelli? Canellini? I don't know, like never had it before. So I just got the small ones. And if we are really addicted, we can see uh, where they sell them and otherwise order online or something. I don't know. So let's start. Black beans, love these. Uh, my partner has been making them with red onions, hence why the red onions are here, um, and just frying them. And then with some uh, potato spices, don't mind the mess, which is just something you can buy like this or potato spices and let's see what's in here salt maltodextrin isn't it like a type of sugar no there's also sugar here not sure um uh, vegetable spices which they describe as 12 percent onion two percent garlic spices oh that, that's just vegetables okay sure then we have spices pepper chili turmeric, cumin, sugar, and then aroma, which is like aroma. <laughs> oh, and some soy and some smoke aroma and then some spices, <laughs> herbs, I mean, herbs. So who knows what's in it, but it's yummy. <laughs> and it's really nice with black beans, so. Okay, so that we already know we like these. Then we have Dutch brown beans, which I cannot remember the last time I had this. Oh, let me uh, make sure that I say the prices. So we have black beans, which are 1 euro 9, a piece for 400 grams. There we go. Then we have Dutch brown beans, which are 1 euro 19 a piece, same size, same weight. And then we have this thing called Berlotti beans. Porlotti. I think they're supposed to be like Italian, commonly used Italian ones. 200 grams and believe me, if you can get the 400 grams, it's so worth it. I looked it up for these ones. I think it was literally like 10 cents more and you get twice the amount. Like that is crazy to me, but this is just what they had. So I just got these. These one, cannellini. Okay, so one of these is 85 cents and one of them is 99 cents because it doesn't specify which of the two it is. Um, I think I think this one, uh, I really do not know. I can look it up if someone really wants to know. So there's these. Then we have this big can of chickpeas, which is 800 grams. So two of these big ones. I already had picked these up and then I saw this one. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna use chickpeas for the falafel, but probably also for something else. So I got this one and uh, this one is 195, like I said, for the 800 grams. So this is usually with like the, the dried beans. This was underneath the dried beans. I was checking out the prices and then I saw this one. So, yeah. Then we have two regular cans from Albert Heinmark. Uh, 
for the chickpeas and these are 125 a piece so definitely better deal yeah. then we have lima beans which we also really liked what did we do with them oh we made burgers with these this is what they look like again 400 grams we made burgers with these it was really nice um and these are 155 a piece and then we have ajar which is an indonesian ingredient and this indonesian ingredient is pickled vegetables let's see what's in here cabbage white cabbage water paprika sugar vinegar carrots uh so there, you don't call it it's like silver onion no it's like those really like this size like kind of oval shaped white silverish onions amazing love those pickles uh cauliflower salt and then a bunch of stuff that you probably don't want to know about and this is really nice i was thinking to add this to the falafel pita because when we go to the mouse you also have the option to do that and it's really yummy so the mouse here it's like um i think it's supposed to be like israeli it's like falafel pitas it's a really nice place to get a cheap vegan uh lunch or something oh i need to grab a new battery one second so this is my phone <laughs> i do not have another sd card on hand right now so just gonna do it like this it's really different because like my camera it has like a wide angle lens uh <laughs> so i have to make sure that i'm not too close okay so the yellow onions they are two kilograms and they are um uh, 349 uh we actually made onion rings like two weeks ago it was really nice so but we also use it for a lot of dishes but again this with black beans so nice then we have the potatoes one kilogram of potatoes it usually is one euro 89 but there was a discount of 38 cents so again this is for the pink soup then we have oh nice then we have um these beets so this is like beet stick sticks can you see it is there a way to show you it might be a bit hard on camera so yeah, they're like steaks, so they're really nice for the soup. Um, these, uh, my partner tried like a bunch of different types of beets and like brands, and these come the closest basically to the ones in Lithuania in the sense of how they taste. And these were two euro forty nine a piece, which is not cheap, but yeah. And you need to for the amount of yogurt you just saw that one kilogram of uh, yogurt. Then we have these pita breads for the falafel um, and these are like the small ones that like kind of like not I wouldn't say discount package but they're like kind of the cheapest ones and these are 79 cents for I think there's 10 breads in there yeah so there's like five per side then we have toothpicks um, we didn't really like these because they tend to break but the other ones from Jordan, they're like really expensive and like, I'm not going to pay that amount of money <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, we had the extra thin ones as well last time. And I think this might be a bit better because extra thin ones, like they don't actually pick everything up because we've been using them for a while now and our like gums are used to toothpicks now. So I'm going to try the, the thin ones now. And this was one year 79 and there's so many in there. 120 pieces so yeah and then we the last thing is this wasabi paste uh, it's just like like a chew wasabi or what it calls it wasabi in the west and um, yeah that's fine we honestly big tip if you tend to order sushi usually they give so much wasabi see if you can like or like those little like cups of let me see if we still have them yeah, so like you can see here, we have like a bunch of these. The best thing to do is if you get like two or three is, and you're sharing with people, is to just both share from the same thing, the same cup and keep the other ones closed because the moment you kind of like 
maybe you introduce some like soy sauce in there it will go bad uh like in semi near future and if you don't do that they are usually like fine for a bit of time so we've been doing that for a while but they are just too old now they don't really taste like anything they're not even like they didn't necessarily go bad like i think one of them did um it's just like there's no taste anymore <laughs> so we need a new one and this one was three euros and 79 so in total so not just from this but also from the the fresh produce stuff it is 74 39 euros for everything except for the smoked tofu the smoked tofu was 10 euro free uh, because we got a discount of 2 euro 51 for six pieces okay that's it um yeah like i think this is okay it's a bit on the high side but i did get some staples and i am um, quite a lot of staples to be quite honest and i think we might be able to cover quite a lot and a lot of vegetables as well actually so we might even be able to do like food for one and a half weeks even up to two weeks depending on how many vegetables we'll need hmm. yeah and i do need to get rice because we don't really have like many carbs or like the bread for example it's for lunch it's not really for dinner uh so yeah um and of course we do have things like we have some staples here so some of the recipes we'll be making is like i already said the pink soup flat pita level um i saw uh, a recipe for lentil nuggets which i'm super curious to try out and then we'll just make some veggies with that and some um maybe some rice for example um let me see what else did i have wait i'm gonna look it up right like i said also the sushi bowl i already mentioned that and then probably some stir fry with some nice beans maybe the black beans with the potato uh spices or maybe we'll try out some different ones i think at some point we had some leftover of those like black beans and we added some chickpeas in there and they kind of like also popped so that was like really nice so yeah that is it for now let me know if you want to know any more information about the food or the supermarket and um i'll be back with the next haul <laughs> bye bye hey everyone we just got a grocery delivered first time for us from Albert Heijn quite a big one and it's dinner time so I'm not really gonna go for everything but I will show you the so you get like a huge receipt with all the information um, so this is how it looks like like you get some of these things called crutches you can return them and you get like you have to pay a deposit and you uh, can return them and then you get the money back basically Got a bunch of beans. Actually, got like. Oh, sorry. Whoa, these are tiny. I thought they were gonna be huge. That's okay. Well, um, we got like a few really good discounts for some reason. I got this one in my bonus box, so five for the price of two. Pretty good. Got these for like two for the price of one, but I don't know. Like they're really tiny. I don't. I should check on the receipt if that's actually the case. And this is the, the new Alpernut Milk preserved packaging. We got like stop recording, which is like the more you get, the more discount you get. And I think it was for two or more, you get like 35% off. So we got four. Because these you can just like keep in the, in the cabinets. Bunch of beans. Also finally some black eyed beans, which we hadn't tried yet because they're not available in our local uh, grocery store, look all the time, some lima beans, um, anything else. Mention Orphe, there's croissants because the basic croissants they don't have rhum butter in them, which is like butter made from, um, from milk. And it says it's also here vegan. Uh, let's see, anything else? Got a bunch of veggies, smoked tofu, some fruit, a lot of hummus, and 
a lot of frozen things which I need to put away ASAP. <laughs> uh, some cauliflower rice, some pumpkin pieces, some uh, broccoli, like they're like the broccoli, like little bits. What are they? Rosettes in, in uh, English. Some sprouts and a mummy. Um, just to have some veggies like in the freezer because sometimes we just don't have veggies anymore and it's nice to have some veggies on hand always and then twice our favorite bread but we just found out they're not cut which is not great i wonder if they will stay nice for longer that way but yeah a bit weird like i kind of understand but also it's not nice like we have to cut it ourselves now so i'm gonna show you the receipt when I'm editing this and oh also naan bread it's really nice also it says it's vegan and um, we had that once in one of the spas here in the Netherlands with hummus some date pieces some pomegranates mm, I think some nuts was it pine nuts and some well uh, what i've been making it with is some at least like some some nuts or maybe like sunflower seeds or pine nuts some hummus some dates and then something like orange or something so a bit citrusy and it has been really nice just dipping it in there so yeah oh and big tip if you like popcorn you don't have a microwave or you just want to save some money or really make popcorn your own way just get these kernels you pop them in your pan, in your pot, and it's really, really nice. Yeah, I think that was it for now. So what we're gonna, what I have on the menu is falafel pitas again because they were really nice. Um, sushi bowl again, a mix of things like we still have quite a lot of tofu, smoked tofu, um, but maybe with some sweet potatoes. Um, let's see what's, what else. Some cauliflower wings. Oh, we need to finish the tempeh. And I think those were the main things. And then also just like stir fries with veggies and beans and yeah. Okay, bye bye. So yeah, here you have all the groceries that we just got delivered. Um, these, the price that you see right now, they're actually the current prices, but I wanted to show you this so you can actually see what everything means <laughs> uh, because the actual like receipt they don't actually show the, the pictures um, and here we go to the receipt yeah you can even see all the texts here it's super interesting so thank you so much for watching if you want any more information about the products or if you would like to maybe share if the prices are similar to where you live or very different um, please let me know i'm so so curious and uh, see you in the next video i'm so excited to show you more of life here in amsterdam bye